Chris Hagen here. We're at the uh, Petrified Forest here in um, Arizona. Uh, just driving through. We saw it the other day. We were coming back through. Thought, well, we better stop by. Um, I don't even know whether to call this a rock or glass. Uh, you know, where we're here from, where we're from there in Jefferson County, we got a lot of silica stain. Uh, this was all underwater 215 million years ago. I know, seems like yesterday. Uh, but this was underwater. There's all the petrified forest, all the wood. You know, I'm telling you, it's absolutely everywhere. Um, there's only two species of trees uh, that, that became petrified. Come on down this way. I'm going to show you kind of up and close the root system of the Park Service, the CCC, back under Theodore Roosevelt, uh, did this park. And as you get close to it, you can just really see uh, everything. And whenever the sun's hitting, that's whenever you can kind of see that it's turned into like glass. We're going to do a couple of other videos. We're going to blend these things together. Uh, I don't really know that much about the Petrified Forest, so you can look it up. It's right off of Interstate 40, and you probably want to budget about two to four hours to see this. Uh, very smooth, and then you can see the bark. Thank you. <laughs> so we're still in the petrified forest. As you can hear, cars are going by. Uh, people are everywhere. Doesn't matter where you go. Uh, and again, I did no research on the petrified forest. Uh, I have been to Yellowstone, so this forest kind of reminds me of, uh, if you've been through Yellowstone, uh, there's just all kinds of different things going on in Yellowstone. And... Um, just, just around the corner, there was still uh, logs, uh, the petrified trees, and the trees fell into the river, uh, got buried into the, um, the silt, a lot of silicone silt, and uh, voila, 200 uh, million years later, uh, it looks like somebody took a chainsaw to them, but what it was is they've actually uh, snapped. So where it actually looks like what we would use a chainsaw to cut so that we could use it for firewood, that's just all the different places uh, that it uh, broke in half. So again, you can look all this stuff up on the internet. You'll know more about it than I will. Thank you. So, so you can see that 200 and... I don't know, 213 million years ago, this tree was probably already on its uh, last dime as it got hollowed out before it fell into the river. And uh, over the course of the years, as it sunk into the very shallow river, I just talked to a park, a park ranger, and then he was talking about the volcanoes and the silt and the silica sand that the volcano shot off and everything. But if you look over here, you can see the bark of the tree. And uh, even the bark has uh, gotten petrified. And then you can see the different rings. I mean, these trees were probably a couple hundred years old. So again, kids, you think your grandparents are old. This is a lot older. Thank you. So, we're still here at the Petrified uh, Forest in Arizona. If, if you look out here, and I know there's just so much excitement about outer space, and there's so much excitement about the moon, and even more excitement about Mars. We're in Arizona. You can't live here. So, so there's no place for humans to live. So we have to take care of our own planet because, you know, you could industrialize this and make things work, uh, but you can't industrialize it on another planet that's uh, 
a long ways away. Anyway, let's just take a look at that real quick. And it is very majestic. Thank you. All right, I think when we started this, I was a little naive. Uh, I don't remember how long I just said, but like two hours. Uh, you know what, for a family, number one, when you come to the Painted Desert, and this gives you an idea of the Painted Desert, and the Petrified Forest, you're gonna wanna do some uh, research on it as a family, uh, whether it's a retired couple, uh, but especially if you got little kids and you're coming out uh, west through New Mexico and here we are in Arizona at the Petrified Forest slash Painted Desert and, and the sun is just beginning to go down here. I would add a, a couple hours. I, I think you need to do the research. I think if you got little kids, uh, even kids in strollers and stuff, there's uh, several like half mile, three quarter mile, one mile walks. There's one that's two miles. There might be one that's a little bit more than two miles. Uh, we didn't do the one that was two miles and we wish that we would have had more time to have done it because it was probably the coolest spot on the entire uh, uh, thing that we've done here in the Painted Desert. And we didn't get to go down in, inside there because we just ran out of time. So again, Everywhere I go, there's just so many neat, wonderful people. Uh, again, the past several years, uh, I've gotten a new appreciation for the planet. And uh, I've been to Arizona several times. I've been in New Mexico several times. But now that I'm just kind of slowing down, enjoying everything, it is, it is unbelievable. And to see these logs that were 200 and 17 million years old um and the way they broke in 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 half it's like having a box of chalk and dropping it and the way the chalk will just snap in half it looked like somebody came out with a chainsaw 217 million years ago and cut it down uh we're going to end this as we as we go to the sun all right they got a great visitor center whenever you come in. They got a, even a better visitor center when you go out. Um, if you're if you're going east to west, you got one entrance you want to go in. If you're going west to east, there's another entrance that you want to go into. And uh, absolutely delightful. Again, there's people everywhere, but the people are wonderful. The people are awesome. So 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 talk to people and say hi. Thank you.